Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Shisha Zed. Listen, I'm back, man, with another video for you. Peace, positivity, self-awareness, and motivation, man. You know the vibes. Hit that like button, show the channel some love. Listen, I'm not gonna waste any more time in this video because we've got some stuff to talk about today. Recently, Kanye West has been fighting to get his woman back. So for those of you that don't know, Kim and Kanye recently got a divorce and Kanye West has been making his way to the headlines for making statements that he wants his wife back, right? They divorced, it lasted a little bit, and Kanye is like, you know what? This, I don't like how things are going. I want my wife back. I'm not gonna just tell you, I'm actually gonna play you a video and we're gonna talk about this. Let's get into it. As much as possible. So when I'm out the house, I got a house right next to the house. I'm doing everything to be right next to the situation, right next to the situation. I'm trying to uh, express this way in the most sane way possible, the most calm way possible, but I need to be back at home. Why is that? I'm saying it's I because if the enemy can separate Kimye, there's going to be millions of families that feel like that separation is okay. But when the kingdom, when God, who is already one and is so, brings Kimye together, there's going to be millions of families that are going to be influenced and see that they can overcome the work as a separation of trauma of the devil that's used to capitalize and keep people in misery while people stand or step over homeless people to go to the Gucci store. All right, guys, so you heard it for yourself. The bottom line there, um, what Kanye, what I heard, right, the main point was if the enemy... For those of you who don't know what the enemy is, he's speaking from a spiritual perspective. Enemy in a spiritual perspective is usually, Christian spiritual perspective, is usually reference to the devil, right? If the devil, right, the enemy, can get in the way of separating Kimye, uh, <laughs> Kimye, this is what he says, then millions of people will be encouraged to not work out their marriages. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, man. When I listen to Kanye talk, a lot of the times I'm trying to listen to anything he says that makes sense, right? We're all aware that he suffers from bipolar and he doesn't always make sense. Now, I don't want to discredit his um, intelligence because I he obviously is successful and you nothing in life just happens, right? I want to give credit to Kanye for being successful in his field, for being an intelligent individual, despite his mode of communication, right? I can give credit to that. Listen, this is not, this whole video is not a diss on Kanye West. What I want you guys to do before I go any deeper into breaking this down is put on your RP lenses, right? Look at this from an RP perspective. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, just keep watching. It's going to make sense as I go on. So... Bottom line, Kanye is basically saying, listen, I want my woman back. Why? Because if we get back together, we're going to inspire millions of people. They're going to know that marriage is worth it, right? The two people can stay together. Now, that sounds great. Almost sounds like, um, almost sounds like a perfect plot to a romance movie, man. Like, this is the stuff that people want to see, right? This is basically female to a bunch of women i know this because when the shade room shared this there was nothing but women in the comment section talking about like oh my gosh this is so beautiful they take your man back like women love this stuff they love men who are gonna fight for their woman after she's left and blah 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 right as long as it's not them in the actual situation why do i say that well it's all great but there's one big problem in this whole situation and that problem is kim has no incentive to get back with Kanye. Why? Because she already got what she wanted out of the situation. So what am I talking about? Well, when we look at modern women's current mating strategy, right? And we look at what women want. It's what they've always wanted in the past. The goal for every woman is to attract the highest value alpha male so that they can do what? So that they can reproduce with that man, right? This is female nature. This is why I told you to put your RP lenses on because we're about to get deep into this situation. She got what she wanted. And what does she want? 
What every woman wants is children with the highest value male, which they can attract, preferably an alpha male. Because not every woman can attract an alpha male. Now, I know some of you guys may be saying, well, Kanye West is not alpha. Well, he might not be alpha to you, but in his field, Kanye West is obviously dominant. He is an alpha. If you look at music, entertainment, and fashion, he's an alpha in that field. You can't deny that. And this is why I say being alpha is contextual, right? The guy who is lame when he goes out to the club isn't so lame when he's playing video games and he's the best at that game, right? In that virtual reality out of all his friends. In that field, in that context, he is alpha. So when I say alpha, I mean from the perspective of Kim. There was a reason she was attracted to him is because of his success, because of his notoriety, in his field, which she happened to be a part of. But back to what I was saying when I was talking about women's current mating strategy. Women today have an option that wasn't available to them before. What is that option? Well, they can find the alpha male. And if the alpha male, if they can't lock that alpha male down, they can at least reproduce with that alpha male because that is how the human race keeps going, right? This is not something that's wrong with women. This is who they are by nature. So she got what she wanted. She got four kids out of Kanye, Northwest, Palm West, St. West, Chicago West. But the bottom line is she is following that trend. Now, listen, I'll be completely honest. I was actually surprised at how long Kim and Kanye lasted. Given celebrity um, relationships usually last a lot shorter than the general public i was surprised at how long she actually tolerated kanye and yes i mean tolerated kanye again nothing against kanye but knowing women and the type of men they're attracted to kanye west came off as highly emotional somewhat jealous you know we've got the beef um that was going on with him and drake i'm not saying that you know drake tried to smash or did smash i'm just saying man there was some stuff going on there and this all could be attributed to his um, mental state and what he deals with and his mental illnesses and such but overall looking at their dynamics within their relationship it doesn't surprise me that they didn't last couldn't last and i'm gonna make a very bold claim here i don't think kim will ever take kanye west back I don't think it would ever happen. And here's why. First reason why is because Kim Kardashian initiated the divorce. Now, this should come to no surprise to most men today, especially men who watch my channel, because we know the statistics. Women initiate 70% of divorces. And you could accredit that to, oh, men are just so horrible, which I don't think that's the case. But in her case, I don't know exactly what it was, but the point is she initiated the divorce. So when a woman initiates the divorce and you go back crying and begging, guys, this is in any type of situation, whether it's a breakup, whether it's a divorce, right? And you go back crying and begging, she most likely won't take you back. And if she does, if we look at like the Cardi B and Offset situation, for example, if she does, best believe in their situation, I'm talking about Cardi B and Offset. If a woman breaks up with you, you're going back to her crying for her to take you back. You are now changing the power dynamics within that relationship. She doesn't respect you as much after you've cried and begged for her. That's why most women will not take you back in that type of a situation. You've got to let her come to you. For those of you who might be going through a breakup right now, you've got to let her come back to you. The best thing you can do after a woman breaks up with you is literally cut her off. This doesn't mean be bitter and don't respond to her. What I mean is the opposite of love is not hate. Because a person who hates somebody still cares enough to leave a space in their mind for them. The opposite of love is indifference. That right there is the place you want to get to if you want to get back with that person. Because you have to get to that place with indifference. That's being okay with you getting back with them or not getting back with them. And if you can't truly be okay with it because we all can't control our emotions, at least convey that energy, right? That's 
Don't initiate conversation or contact with that woman if you're going through a breakup. This is a side note, but I'm just going to talk because I don't know who's watching my videos. This might help help somebody out right now. Don't initiate conversation. I'm not talking about going no contact. Don't ignore the person. If they hit you, say, hey, what's up? You cool? If she breaks up with you, cool, cordial. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Are you doing good? Okay, I kind of miss you thinking about you. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's what's up. You don't have to say you miss her back. Keep it short. Keep it cool. Act like you are indifferent to the situation. That's where you win, right? Because even if she does take you back, when you're begging and crying, when you do go back there, man, she will not respect you as the alpha. She will, she will look at you as somebody who can't live without her. And to a lot of women, that may be romantic, but to a man, that is a miserable position to be in, right? And guys, this is not not fighting for something that's good. Because if it's good, I'm telling you the best way to fight for it. And that's to not fight at all. Let it come to you, right? This is how you gain um, a strong position when you do get back together with it. But let's get back into this Kanye and Kim um, situation. So I said, I don't think Kim is ever going to take Kanye back. And one of the reasons that I believe she won't is because she initiated a divorce. Here's a post from a blog I was reading back in April 2021. It says, Kardashian 40 files for divorce from West 41 in February and as news circulated about the split, it seemed clear that it was Kardashian, right? So they're saying Kim is the one that filed for the divorce. The article goes on to say, not West who initiated the split. West is now claiming that he was the first one to consider a split inevitable and he wants credit for it, <laughs> right? Kanye wants credit for the fact that he thought of doing it first. It doesn't matter who thought of doing it first. It matters who pulled the plug. Kim pulled the plug, right? She pulled the plug and what did she do? Well, she pulled the plug and she started hanging out with one of her best friends, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson, right? For a long while, people saw Kim Kardashian as, and Pete Davidson as having a uh, platonic friendship, right? Nothing sexual at all. Listen, this is this is almost crazy. Listen, the RP truth in this situation is almost like in your face obvious. Here we have a woman who leaves a man after she gets what she wants. I'm not saying she's right or wrong. I'm saying it happened, right? She leaves Kanye. And who does she get with? She gets with the friend, the guy who was just a friend, right? She goes from the man who she viewed as alpha to now she's looking for a good husband. Like clockwork, she's looking for a good man who's going to take care of the kids, who's going to be loving, right? A good beta male provider. Now, guys, when I say provider, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, Kim's already rich, right? She doesn't need money. Well, beta male providers provide in different ways. They can provide validation, emotional security, right? Quality time. The point is her attraction to the beta male is strictly transactional. She's not attracted to who he is. She doesn't look at him and he doesn't just get her going. It's about him providing something outside of who he is as a person. The most common is a man who provides resources, right? Pays for the bills. A woman thinks, I'm done with the bad guys. I'm done with the alpha males. Four kids in. Now she wants to settle down with a good guy. And listen, this is just women capitalizing on the opportunity and the changes that have happened in society when it comes to male and female intersexual dynamics, right? In the past, a woman like Kim would have been shunned, but now she is praised. Women today are not looked down upon for leaving their men. They're praised for it. In the past, a woman would not have been able to get away with this. But the bottom line is women will use whatever tactic they can get away with to get the best possible situation out of providing for their offspring. So what is that? Well, that's reproducing with the alpha male and then finding the beta male to provide and protect for those kids. And so going back to Pete Davidson, guys, a lot of the times I talk about how if you're in a relationship with a woman, if you're dealing with any type of woman, you got to let her know up front that you're not going to tolerate her messing with um, guy friends, right? Male friends. Right here, we have another example of a guy who was the friend, right? But as soon as the opportunity came, what did he do? Well, he capitalized on it. Check out this post. Um, it says, just remember one man's turkey sandwich is another man's turkey dinner 
so many RP truths you can pull out of this. But um, the last post I want to leave you guys with is this other post by Kanye West where he's posting him and Kanye West kissing. I mean, Kanye is serious about getting uh, Kim back into his life. Um, this was actually posted by TMZ. It says, Kanye West says, God will bring Kim and him back together, inspire millions. So in conclusion, I'll say this. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Number one, because like I said, Kim has already got what she wanted out of the situation. Now, if they didn't have kids, that may be something different, right? She has to lock down those children, right? That she wants from the man who she views as alpha. The second thing is Kanye is going about this all the way wrong. Is it possible that they get together? Listen, they might get together, but what I'm predicting is it won't happen. And even if it does, I promise you it will be short lived. Why? Because when I look at their dynamics within relationships, I don't see the type of personalities where relationships can thrive and be successful. Marriages in specific, right? People who we should be looking up to for inspiration or people like Denzel and his wife, people who don't really get the flowers they deserve, right? That's a couple right there who I think will inspire other people to know that it can be done. I know they've been married for like 36 years or something like that, if not almost about 40, but I think it's at least 36, right? So if you ask me, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Kim has moved on, got what she wanted out of the situation. If it does, it would be short lived. Hey guys, let me know what you guys thought of the content down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Listen, I'm curious. Let me know what you guys thought, right? Do you think that it might happen? Do you think maybe you think that they'll actually get back together? If so, how long do you think they'll last, right? And for those of you who have questions about anything I had to say, let me know in the comment section down below. By the way, guys, at the pinned comment down below, I added a link for you guys to shoot me questions. These could either be relationship questions, dating questions, or any type of questions you may have that I might make a video for if I feel like it will benefit the majority of my subscribers. So feel free to check for that link and send me your questions. As always, I appreciate all of you. My name is Tisha Zed. Until next time, man, I'm out. Peace. I'm a walking liberty bell. Free to ring through my stride, freedom to be inside, and be a slave to my pride. And right away it is scream, man, this love's so serene, I should probably shake it up just a little bit.